Welcome back to some more MX Bikes ASMR with Linz. Today we have the track of Hawkstone Park in the UK. Uh, I'm just f***ing with you, don't worry about that. I, I apologise if you blew your ears off there. Um, yeah, welcome back to another video, guys. Um, I thought I'd uh, take it back home today. Uh, we got a track in the UK called Hawkstone Park. Now, when I first started playing MX Bikes, uh, just over a year ago now, this was one of the uh, first DLC tracks that I got. Uh, obviously, ev everyone that I was playing MX Bikes with at the time was uh, from the UK as well. Um, so it was kind of one of those uh, one of those standout tracks uh, that I needed to play. Never played it in real life, unfortunately, but I've watched uh, watched many uh, a pro GoPro uh, around this track over the years. Um, always one of them tracks that kind of been on the bucket list, but just never been able to to ride myself. Um, and this this is a track made by TFC. I, I don't know the release date. I probably should have done a little bit more research before uh, before playing it. Um, but you can tell it's one of those earlier MX bike releases because um, as far as kind of ruts and bumps and stuff go, it's very 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 simple. Nothing too challenging at all. Well, I was saying that when when I did download it back in the day, it was uh, it was one of the hardest uh, tracks for me at least, just just being new to it. And speaking of new. Um, I, I hope everyone enjoyed my video two days ago that I done with Charlie. Um, I've read the comments uh, and it's, it seems like, for the most part, everyone really, really enjoyed it. So 100% um, I'm going to be doing some uh, some more videos with him, um, just really so you guys can, can track his progress as he goes. Um, I, I felt uh, it's really, really interesting actually just to see how he compares to other new people and uh, it looks like he's doing really, really well. And we spoke roughly about him playing sim on there as well and i think his his sim experience must have been very very minimal um no more than 50 hours uh, i don't think at all so uh, the fact that he's kind of picking up bikes fairly quickly is really good fun and it's nice for me as well to have somebody uh, to play the game with that i know in person as well uh, obviously everyone's got their own kind of friend groups online in discord and such but um it's just i don't know a bit bit more fun when it's someone that you actually know and you can share like real life jokes with and things like that and and what I really, really like is the attitude that's in in the videos as well. It's just a lot more, it's just chilled conversation that we're having. I mean, it, it may as well just be a podcast. So <laughs> the actual racing is just there for some for some backing footage. All, all it really is is just me and him talking a load of a load of crap. But uh, no, you you guys really seem to enjoy it, which I liked. And uh, the video itself done really, really well. Uh, so there will 100% be more to come. Uh, I'm just, I, I think I'm thinking along the lines of. Um, I'll just kind of do a video with him as he reaches certain milestones on the game. So maybe like how he's doing at 10 hours, 50 hours, 100 hours and all that sorts. I mean, I, I can't speak for Charlie. I don't know how, how much he's going to be playing the game, but um, I've played more of him uh, more of him today and he seems to be really enjoying it and progressing well as well. Um, I think he was at about the eight or so hour mark. Um, he hit a 1.11.0, I believe, on Forest, which I think is really, really good. Um, we obviously we played some other tracks in between that he hasn't just been grinding forest and forest only um but yeah really good progress really happy with that and uh i mean <laughs> i saw i saw someone comment saying uh, uh no pressure you're just playing with the world record holder which i found really really funny um I, I suppose i'm i'm probably an okay person to try and teach someone at this game so uh, he's got a good teacher he's got no excuse for uh, for being bad <laughs> um, but yeah just just really big thanks on that it's it's always a bit worrying for me when i do something slightly different like that i never know how it's going to be received but really, really happy with that, so thank you everyone so much. Um, and so go, going back to this track here, Hawkstone Park, in, in true British fashion, I thought it only made sense if we had the rain on. You know how the weather is over here, we get maybe like our five days of, of sun in the summer a year, and then it just goes back to uh, goes back to absolute crap weather. Uh, the weather right now has not been, it's not been too bad actually. We've got, uh, it was sunny the other day, but it was it, it's not a hot sunny by any means, it's just, it's still cold and then in intermittent rain in between patches of sun so not nice by any means but i mean it's it's, it's literally prime winter time you, you can only do so much and hopefully by the time summer comes around i'll get to do some some decent riding um i know again going back to going back to charlie he really wants to get out a bit more this year so uh, i'll probably i'll go with him to some tracks and maybe i'll uh, i'll bust the gopro out as well and bring you some some real life riding footage that is something that quite often gets uh, gets asked for on the channel um, I do if, if you haven't watched it yet I do have one video uh, on the channel and I, I think if you just search under my channel like Lynn's live or something like that I think that's what I called it um, it's it's literally just free laps of me going at a very very average speed because <laughs> I by no means am I a, a, a good motocross rider um, I mean I've, I've been god how long have I been riding now maybe like 18 years plus or so and 
Uh, I think it's just because of how infrequently I do actually ride that I never really picked up like lots of speed and kept it. But you know, I, I can get around the track. I've, I've got a brain on me, so I can go. I go out with like experts when I go practicing and things like that, and I just keep an eye over my shoulder. If I hear someone coming up behind me at Mach 10 speed, then I'll <laughs> I'll pull over and let him pass. And the reason that the uh, the video is actually just three laps long is because I'm pretty sure that's how long that my arms last before I get massive arm pump. Um, definitely not fit at all, but if you watched yesterday's video, um, you will know that my kind of fitness and health is something that I want to focus on a bit more this year. Um, I, I was even thinking of going as far along the lines of kind of posting like weight updates and things like that on the channel, but first of all, I feel like that's probably not something anyone here would be interested in. And then uh, as well, I, I was thinking to do it purely along the basis of it would hold me accountable if I've got 17,000 people keeping an eye on it as well. Um, but I don't know, I think it's one of those things that is a bit, it's a bit personal. I don't want to kind of promote any unhealthy eating habits and things like that. I know everyone's not in the same boat where they need to need to lose weight. Uh, I mean, I, um, I don't know how much I weigh to be honest. So I'm, so I'm, I, I, I'm going to do this purely in my measurements. I don't know what the conversion is. You'll have to do that for yourself, or maybe I'll, I'll pop it up on screen for you right now. I am five foot eight, and I am, I think, thirteen and a half stone. I know all the Americans are going to laugh when I say stone. It's just a, just a UK thing. I've no idea who invented it, um, but yeah, I'll put, I'll, I'll hopefully put those measures, uh, measures up on screen for you, so you don't have to convert it yourselves. Um, so yeah, there's definitely. Definitely a little bit of uh, fuzziness around the edges that I can probably quite easily get rid of if I put my mind to it. Uh, I'm one of them people that has a really bad habit of, uh, of like yo-yo dieting, like going really, really extreme one end, um, like exercising every day, counting every single calorie that goes in, um, to then not exercising at all and just eating whatever I want. It's a really, really bad habit that I've had for years now. Um, it's, I don't know, it, it's generally just a bad relationship with, with food. Um, by no means am I someone that's going to eat until they physically can't move anymore. I always get to that point where I suddenly snap. I'm like, okay, okay you need to you need to sort yourself out now. Go and, go and lose a little bit of weight. And I always feel better once I have as well. So I have no idea why I always kind of kind of bounce back. Um, just some, I just need to make small changes uh, this time around rather than just going hardcore and burning myself out on it. Um, and then hopefully by the time summer comes around and the actual proper riding starts, I'll be able to hold on for maybe like a 15 minute uh, moto rather than <laughs> rather than just three laps. So we'll, we'll, we'll see how things go. I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, I don't know how many, well, I, I, I say, I was about to say, I don't know how many prime years I have left. I'm not in my prime right now by any means. Uh, I, I think I'm getting a, getting a little bit past it actually, but uh, we'll see how many good years of riding I've got left in me. Um, I, the issue that I did have is all through like my whole riding life, even back to 50s and 60s and then all the way up until like, the last couple of years. I'm very, very dependent on uh, my dad to take me riding because he's always been like my mechanic. He's always sorted my bikes out for me, always taking me riding in his van. Uh, and now it's kind of the point where he's got his own life. He does his own hobbies that he likes to do on the weekend. Um, and now I'm becoming a bit self-sufficient. I feel quite quite bad asking him to sort my bike out for me and, and so I can go riding with Charlie for example um, but I don't know I just maybe I need to I need to learn to spin the wrenches a little bit and uh, pick up a few things and then I'll certainly be able to go out more and I've just run realized I've run out of tear offs that I'm spamming the tear off button nothing's happening at all no idea how I've gone through like 22 tear offs already but that is the English weather that's how it is um, th this track is a whole lot easier than I remember. I definitely used to struggle on this track, like coming down this hill and almost going over that corner every single lap. Uh, well, it definitely goes to show what a couple, uh, couple more hours on the game does. I was probably, I was maybe like 20 hours in, I think, when I downloaded this track. And we're at about 1,070 now. Um, I'm going to blame Charlie for that. <laughs> I've not played the game as much uh, in the last two days as I have in a long, long time. Um, just purely trying to teach him, teach him the ways becoming becoming the sensei <laughs> to become my uh, my protege, teaching him how it goes. Watch it'll just be my luck where one day he'll end up being even faster uh, than me and I won't be able to beat him and uh, that'll be another position that I lose in Supercross and the National Series and all that but um, yeah I, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I hope that uh, the new year is going well for you so far even though I think we're what, like two three days in at the point in this video being uploaded um, but I'm, I'm really looking forward to the year. Really really uh, excited to see how the channel does. Really excited to try and put uh, put a lot of effort into the channel as well and just watch it grow and uh, have you guys along for the ride as well. We're getting a lot of new faces every single day which uh, always makes me happy um, and then of course you, you can't argue when you see that the average views are going up as well so 
really, really positive things. I appreciate you all very, very much, so thank you all for that. Um, if you did like this video, do drop a like. I'm going to do the usual thing that I do at the end of every video. Um, drop a like, subscribe if you're new. Uh, if this is your first video or if you've come back for a couple times now, I'd really appreciate you sticking around and uh, see, seeing where the channel ends up at the end of this year. Uh, and that'll do it for me. Hope you have a lovely rest of the day, whatever it is that you're up to. And until I catch you guys in the next video, peace. Got bad shit all up in my mind right now. Fuck it, give me a minute and I'ma let it all out. I don't give a shit about an opinion, be another dimension when I wake up, wake up, wake up. Oh, bitch, it's time to fill the cup. Got no fucking love. I feel so stuck on my luck. Get fucked.